Assalamu alaikum hamagi, ismi Mr. Farhot va bugun bizga Miss Maftunadan speaking moktas olamiz va sizlarga 8 yarimli speaking qanaqa bo'lishini, misolini ko'rsatib ketamiz. Наша школа предлагает сильную академическую программу, в которую входит углубленное изучение математики, русского и английского языков. Также расширен академический блок, где ребенок будет заниматься информатикой, драмой и хореографией. Если вы хотите узнать больше о нас и присоединиться к нам, то обращайтесь в социальные сети и звоните по этому номеру телефона. Не упустите возможность обеспечить своему ребенку качественное образование. Томпсон Скул мы создаем лидеров. Томпсон, Ургенштан, Завкали. So, good morning. My name is Farhodjo Muhammadov, and today I'll be your speaking examiner for your speaking mock test. In your speaking mock test, you'll have three different parts, which is part one, part two, and part three. In your part one, you'll be given some introductory questions, which are mainly about yourself. In your part two, you'll be given a cue card topic, which will have to speak up to two minutes. And in the part three, you'll be asked some questions stemming from your part two. Are you ready to start? Yes, I am. Let's get started. So, please introduce yourself first. My name is Maftona Tachonova. The first topic we'll be discussing is weekends. And do you think we're lucky to have weekends? Well, I believe we are, because Weekends are the times when we have the opportunity to have some rest from our busy daily lifestyles. Yeah, okay. So how do you feel the evening weekend when it's over? Well, it depends. Sometimes I feel so energetic. Sometimes I look forward to the new week to start. But sometimes when I'm so tired and, you know, when you are quite emotional and yeah. you don't want to do anything with your life and in that moment, Uh, I may feel like, let's say, hateful okay, about okay. the new week. <laughs> so the next question, do you believe in working on the weekends? Believe in working in weekends? Huh. I, yeah, quite, okay. yes, I believe. Um, it can give, it can guarantee you some extra pay. Yes, of course. Yeah, yeah. if you are working in weekends. And, but sometimes it can drive you from the from the rest that you may have uh during the weekend yeah. like it can steal your time that you might have spent with the family and for yourself yeah okay cool is there anything you dislike about weekends anything i dislike about weekends huh it's short <laughs> sorry it is short oh okay yeah it is short and i wish uh, it was quite longer sometimes because it's only one day, especially Sunday, and uh, it ends quite fast. Yeah, okay. And which are better weekends, now or the weekends as a child? Usually when you are a child, it doesn't, it doesn't that matter if it is a weekend or weekday because, you know, you do the same thing every day. But as an, as an adult, uh, it is quite different. Like you work on weekdays, you go to university, you go to work. But on weekends, um, it's the only time like you can spare some time for yourself. So it's quite different now. Yeah. Okay. So let's move on to the next topic to discuss, which is keys. Okay. Do you always bring many keys with you? Nah. I only have one key, which is the one of my flat. Okay. The main and key we have. Yeah, this is the main key, yeah. But other keys, if I, if I buy a car, then I may carry some more. <laughs> okay. So have you ever lost a key and had to replace it? Um, well, that never happened to me before. But, well, because, maybe because I am quite careful with my belongings. Yeah, okay. So, and do you think is it a good idea to leave your key with a neighbor in case you need to? Hmm. Sometimes it can be a very good way because, like, if you live as, in a fam as a family in a, in a place, then, uh, especially when, when you have only one key, like, it happens, right? So, when you have only key and when you have to go somewhere and in these cases the neighbor is life savior for, for you because you can't leave your key under the uh, doormat right yeah that's good so have you ever locked yourself out no that no. never happens okay <laughs> so let's move on the next question is how can you avoid losing your keys how can i avoid losing well i always have i always keep my keys inside my bag 
where, which I carry to everywhere. And I don't usually take, that, take it on my hand, so it is always there. Like, the only time I use my key is when I am at the door mm -hmm. of my flat. That's so, why it's like very low probability of me losing my keys. Okay, I see. So, and the last question is, do you always take your keys when you go out? I do. Like, as I have mentioned, it's always in the back. Yeah, that's it. Okay, so that is basically the end of our part one. Mm -hmm. Now we'll move on to part two. Okay. In the part two, I would like you to describe a house or apartment that you would like to live in. Okay. Here's some paper to make notes and a pen for that. Now you will have one minute for your preparation and mm -hmm. then once time is up, you will have to speak about it up to two minutes. Okay. You ready to begin? Yes, I am. Let's go. Наша школа предлагает сильную академическую программу, в которую входят углубленное изучение математики, русского и английского языков. Также расширен академический блок, где ребенок будет заниматься информатикой, драмой и хореографией. Если вы хотите узнать больше о нас и присоединиться к нам, то обращайтесь в социальные сети и звоните по этому номеру телефона. Не упустите возможность обеспечить своему ребенку качественное образование. В Томпсон Скул мы создаем лидеров. Томпсон, Ургенштан, Завколи. Your time is up. Are you ready to begin? Mm -hmm. You may start speaking now. Okay. So the house or apartment I'd love to live in in the future. Um, well. To be honest, I haven't really thought about it uh, because the, mo the only important thing for me is uh, not the place but the people to who you are living with. But uh, as it comes to a house, um, I believe it would be the one uh, situated in the city. Uh, in my childhood, I lived in a countryside and I have the experience of living there. So. I think uh, city gives you more opportunities and city offers you uh, quite a lot of things that countryside cannot. Uh, that's why I would like to continue my life living in cities. And in, in terms of the type of accommodation, uh, I would love to live in a flat, let's say a three bedroom apartment, because it would be enough for for a family of parents and kids. And in the flat, I think you can spend your time with the family and we can, we can do, well, I can do cooking for my children, for my family, and we can sometimes, uh, as, it ha as it will have a balcony that is overlooking the city, we, in the evenings, uh, we can sit and enjoy our tea uh, looking out to the city. Your time is up. That is the end of part two. Mm -hmm. Now we'll move on to part three. Mm -hmm. Thank you. That is the end of part two. Mm -hmm. Now we'll move on to part three. And in the part three, you'll be asked some questions related to your part two, which mm -hmm. is basically home and accommodation. So do you think it's better to rent or to buy a place to live in? Well, I think it depends because if you are the one who moves constantly to like, let's say different cities, maybe because of job and, or maybe because you love the one who, who loves traveling. Mm -hmm. And in, this, in such cases, I think renting is the best option because you don't always have to sell and buy a new place for yourself. Like you just move in as uh, you rent the place and everything. Every problem solved. Yes. And how is it easy to find a place to live in in your country? Uh, I wouldn't say it's that easy because uh, if you have a planned budget, then you can struggle a lit a bit because uh, because of the high cost of rents nowadays in the capital. But if you have uh, if you have no problem with, with money, then I think it doesn't depend uh, really on you. the country. You can find anywhere, any place to live. So money solves everything. Yeah. And so do you agree that there is a right age for young adults to stop living with their parents? I believe there is. Uh, I think it's, it's between 18 and 20. Uh, at this point of your life, uh, you are the one who has finished the school and you are the one who is about to get into the university and you are the one who is uh, about to take the responsibility of their lives. 
you start a new phase in your life and moving out is like the milestone for it. Yes. And what options are available to young couples looking for accommodation in your country? For young couples? Yes. Um, I suppose it's easier for those who work for government yes. or who are in the military because there are a wide range of opportunities for them. They help you with the rent, they help you with like, they help you financially and you have a great uh, variety of opportunities, yeah. Okay, and the last question for your part three will mm -hmm. be, what are some of the pleasures involved in making a home for ourselves? As it's a place of your own, yes. uh, you are free to decorate it in any way you wish and it will be something of your own, something that belongs to you and something that can, let's say, represent you in many ways. So uh, it gives you a lot of pressure, I believe. All right, Maftuna, that is the end of our speaking exam. Thank you for sparing some time for it and you'll get your results in three to five working days. That is the end of our speaking mock test. And now we are moving on to feedback part. Coming to the feedback part, of course, the sample was 8.5. So the overall band score was 8.5. And now I'll describe you and explain the subparts of each category, which is pronunciation, grammar, accuracy, vocabulary range, and fluency. Let's start with pronunciation. Our candidate has a really, really good pronunciation with any type of word, whether it's academic word or some kind of a simple informal type of words. Still, pronunciation is worth nine. It's also worth mentioning that our candidate was imitating British accent, which was a really good attempt and then now we're moving on to grammar and accuracy there were some minor minor very minor mistakes that's why i'm gonna put eight which is worth eight but if we of course fix some of the grammar mistakes it's gonna be worth nine vocabulary range vocabulary range of our candidate was quite creative and flexible the vocabulary choice and putting it in the correct place there was no problem with that that's why vocabulary range is perfectly nine Going on to fluency, uh, there have been some minor stops in between and too much thinking in some of the type of questions. That's why fluency is worth eight. But still, our overall band score is 8.5. That is the end of our video and see you in the next one.